So recently I lost my tea maker. Yeah, she left me for someone better. So I looked at replacing her with a mechanical tea maker. Do these add the milk? No. Add the sugar? Also no. Is it ridiculously over-engineered? You guessed it, no. Essentially, it makes a mean cup of murky brown water. Now, if you want something doing right, just do it yourself. As us Brits know, the water being boiling is a crucial part of making a good cup of tea. And do you remember that murky brown water maker, more commonly known as a kettle? Well, that boils the water, so we're gonna use that, but it needs a modification. It requires tilting, which is, well, boring. boring. So we're gonna add a DIY catheter to allow it to pee into a pump and the pump can then, well, pump the water into the milk. And we're gonna have a second pump that will do the same for the milk. I've had better, so, so what's next? Sugar. Now what's the easiest way to get sugar from a pot to a mug? So first you start with compressed air at 60 PSI. You let the sugar fall into a tube and then you suddenly realize the sugar is gonna keep falling out the end of the tube. Contemplate how you're magically going to stop sugar from abiding Newton's law of universal gravitation. So you travel back in time, tell Isaac you have candy in the back of your van. He moves away from the apple tree, the apple falls. Or does it? And then gravity is never invented and everything floats. Or use a LucasAid bottle cap. They hold liquids back until there's enough pressure inside to open the valve. So once the tube is full, push the compressed air to the midpoint of the tube, forcing the bottom half out and the top half back into the sugar pot. So not too much comes out in one go. Once the pressure stops, the tube refills with another teaspoon's worth. Simple, right? Um, maybe. It's done. Just go look, turn it on. See what happens. I have the ground hooked up to the black wire. If I tap this red wire, it's gonna open this solenoid, let the air through, and maybe put some sugar into a cup. Maybe. That was insane. I don't know if any came out. I have to review the slow-mo. It's done. It's got the stirrer. It's got the switch flicker. It's also got a dunker. And my personal favorite, it even manages to detect how full the mug is with distance detection. Now, they all work individually, but not together. So we're just missing some software and an on button. But if you do recall, there's sort of been a pandemic going on. It's now socially acceptable to consider turning on a switch a chore. So we're gonna go down the route of the AI assistant. Now, if you saw my last video, you will have already met Dave. Wog one boss. Uh, hi. It may be time to get Dave to do something a little less like whatever that was. Therefore, I need to teach him how to be a tea barista. L'espoir est un plat bien trop vite consommé Et à sauter les repas Je suis habitué Un voleur solitaire Et triste nourri à je si amer Je ne peux réussir Car rien n'est gratuit Say less, big man ting. This is on loan from Naomi. It is her earring. <laughs> I put the mug there. there. So if I was to say, hey Dave, I would like a tea with one sugar and milk, please. Wagwan coming right up slime. That is... Too late now. Okay. There's the milk. There's the... Oh dear, the tea bag's been wrapped up. Oh god, there's a lot of. Please watch your step. Step back, lady. Step <laughs> back, please. This is a this is a working environment. That's a normal-ish looking tea. It's just hanging there like a nutsack, don't it? <laughs> the hair just wobbles around. <laughs> we'll give that a minute to cool down and no, I'll give it a taste test. But I don't want to be disgenuine. Still the same tea. Do you want me to sign the tea? It should have cooled down a lot now. It tastes like tea. It's not a very nice one. All that is left now is to get the British seal of approval to prove that Dave can make a good cup of tea. Now, the only way we can do this is with a very highly scientific, non-biased trial. So I have Lily and Kyle coming over this evening, and it's important that they suggest to have a tea. And this way, they don't think anything's out of the ordinary. If I was to offer them a tea, like out of the blue, might be a little bit odd. And once they ask, I make one with Dave, and I make one with the normal yucky old kettle. And then at the end, I ask them which one they prefer. And then we'll know if Dave has the seal of approval. He's gonna, he's gonna have the seal of approval. I'm not worried about that. Anyone want anything? No. Okay. Answers. I'd love a glass of water. <laughs> Naomi, would you like a drink? No thanks. I want this. Can I have a drink? What would you like? A cup of tea. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Of course you would. 
Milk dietary requirements. Oh, I've got a story for you. You won't want to put this in, but it's quite funny. So we'll go. You say it for later then. Does the PS have lactose free milk? I don't. I'm right with normal folks. There wasn't any options. <laughs> I'm excited. You guys just small talk in the meantime. We don't really have a lot to small talk about. <laughs> No, I could have been to Colombia yeah. and picked the tea leaves myself by now. I'm not bored. No, I'm not bored. I mean, Carl about to have sex on this sofa. Hmm. We're not. I need to feed this through. Hold on. Can we watch or not? No! Because you don't know, this is just a normal TV, <laughs> mate. Uh, Follow the script. Oh. That doesn't sound very good. Have a look, please. Oh my god, there's tea everywhere. <laughs> now, I think there is a chemical called BPA. Be real. When someone's talking, you need to film them. Try that again. There is a chemical called BPA that's like highly toxic. I don't know if some of the tubes in there contain BPA, so nice. just don't drink a lot. That's <laughs> sip. Just sip. Could it kill you? I don't know. Smoking couldn't kill you 30 years ago, so I'm sure you'll be fine. I will edit now which one is which. <laughs> Pick your poison, folks. What is the rest of it? <laughs> Not as hot. <sighs> <laughs> Right, I prefer that one. You prefer that one? Yeah. And Lily, which one do you prefer? Does that not give you the ick? <laughs> <laughs> that one's the favourite. Yeah. Which one was yours, Kyle? Yeah, that one. Okay, now let's pretend we didn't say that and then we'll film it again <laughs> and you're the one, this one is your favourite, okay? okay? Three, two, one, and which one's your favourite? I'd have to say this one. Yeah, I need to have a taste. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I thought you were going to pour them out onto the carpet then to compare. <laughs> That one. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure, bro. Great. That one. that one was made by the machine. That one was made by me. Yay. Look at the camera. And that's it. Dave is a certified tea barista. And the only right way to celebrate would be with a tea. And we can pretend that this one was made by Dave. If you enjoyed watching me ruin a kettle and pretend to teach a little plastic robot how to make tea, then consider liking the video. And if you want to see more stuff like this, consider subscribing. And I'll see you in my next documented mental breakdown.